All right, here's Easy Lane RV Park. So spots 10 through 18 are on the north side. One through nine is on the uh, south side, backing up to Easy Lane. There's a light out there. That's Custer Road right there. That's a Founders Private School right across the street. There's an active adult community going in. So that is Wilmoth Road. That's going to be running right in front of us here. But we own the actual private road here, flanked by trees on all sides. And there's our tiny home. Parking in there. Shed comes with the tiny home. This is a private residence. These are long-term renters of ours. Been here for years. Got their garden, their chicken coop. This backs up to the creek over here. Here's our dog park in the middle. So you can enter the dog park from there, on the other side, and then the back side over here. And over the clubhouse, Behind there, there's another fire pit, a couple grills, a bunch of chairs. But nobody has taken advantage of this so far. You literally can go wading in this creek down here. It's a spring-fed creek, clean water. Years ago, we'd go down there and drink water straight out of the creek. So at night, all these lights light up. We kept the old barn. Made a little seating area back here. Kind of hangout place. See that creek? So, literally, the creek wraps around this entire property back here. There is quite a bit of drop off, so there's a liability waiver. Your kids can play in the creek. They need to learn what poison ivy looks like. You need to teach them. Uh, spray it and spray it and spray it. But you can walk down the creek, get all the way down in there. And this creek goes for miles, that's Wilson Creek. And it's filled with foliage right now, but the split in the creek is like right through that, right through here. So the creek Y is at the back of our property. So it's a cool place to hang out. When my kids were younger, we'd camp out here and pitch tents and we used to have a go-kart track here in the middle. <laughs> have all kinds of cookouts. So this right here is basically the septic field. Free washer and dryer, table, TV. It's a digital TV with a digital antenna. Our Wi-Fi is terrible out here. It's a T-Mobile system, and it, they've had a cell tower that went bad. They're trying to fix it, so our Wi-Fi has been intermittent. So a walk-in shower, full-size bathroom. Nothing too elaborate. What's comfortable? Good little hangout place. We had a baseball team in here and kids were playing and gave them a little place to hang out. And then they used the dog park as their practice field. Um, then these other people, they had a little get together out here and they put up soccer goals. They're playing soccer out here in the, uh, in the park. I don't think there's any dogs here at the moment. We had some when we first opened up, but I tried to stress the need for everybody to pick up their dog stuff. Everybody's been pretty good. So literally right there off of Custer Road. And they poured us a new concrete entrance right there. So you turn in, so spots number one, two, three, four, five, six. 
one through six, you can literally just pull in. I rocked the bar ditch over there. Seven, I got a couple trailers there myself. That's where there is electrical panels and service up behind seven. Eight is technically a pull through as well. Nine is not. Nine, you get that tree over there, and nine's a little bit wider. Nine at the end, one at the end, 18 at the end, and then 10. Basically, your four end spots, you get a little bit of extra space. Number one over there, you get that tree, and then you get enough room to park your car on the other side of the tree as well. So, we just opened. Well, actually, been open for about 60 days now. A little light today. It's Sunday afternoon, people have already pulled out. So that's it. This is Easy Lane, Easy Lane RV Park.